Oh shit, and it's still fucking just showing loading. My bad. My bad. And it was showing loading. Anyways, welcome to the Machine Room <coughs> Podcast. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the fourth episode. I'm Nastradamus, and with me, of course, is Rachel Dunn, aka Hammer oh, of sad. Venus. That name still rocks, Thank in you. my opinion. All right. I think but, you came up with that, so I think you're just boasting about your own accomplishment. I mean, I, I, once again, I don't remember it, but I take full credit. <laughs> so, tonight, though, is going to be the first time we're going to have a guest with also me and Rachel. As the last, uh, On the second All episode, I, I was not here, and she had uh, another guest uh, show up. So, uh, But this time, it's both of us and a guest. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce... A cyber goon himself, a really good guy, a uh, musician, a lyricist, a poet, and a gamer, Rex McKinnis! What's up, ladies and gentlemen? How y'all doing? How y'all yeah. doing? How y'all doing? Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can see you. you. Yeah, you can see you. Okay, oh yeah, yeah. What's up? Yes, good. yes. What's good? Welcome to the Machine Room Podcast, Rex. I'm glad to I'm glad to be here, man. And mm. Thank you for allowing me to come to this experience. I know I'm like super cheesy. So I'm happy. so fucking happy right now. Yeah, man. Thank you. Thank you. I love it. <laughs> it's good to have you here, man. Now, now, now we got uh, oh shit. Sorry about all the noise back here. Now we got. This motherfucker's uh, eating my I'm Thanksgiving eating. dinner. <laughs> I am. I am eating. <laughs> That's for Hold sure. On. So get ready for some machine room ASMR as well as I eat during this whole show. It's gonna be it's gonna be sweet. It's gonna be Gucci as Rex says. Yes. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna be very Gucci. Sh- I shouldn't be saying that, but yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> so Rex, please, yes. for those that probably don't know you, would you like to introduce yourself? Yes, sir. I can definitely do that. Um hello everybody. My name is Rex McKinnis. Um I am an artist i make music i originally started making music well not started but i've been making music since a a wee lad and um of more recently i started using twitch to stream video games and also premiere music but i've also dealt with uh, photography graphic design like the list goes on and on um and i just want to really bring people together for art purposes for them to enjoy what I can bring to the table. I really want to make something happen with it. I've been doing it for a minute. I'm like, I'm 27 years old and I've been doing it for quite some time and I'm not at where I want to be. I'm not at where I want to be, if that makes sense. But I I, I keep pushing, man. I keep pushing and I want to push and and opportunities like this make me really 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 fucking happy because i remember watching my way entertainment back in the day and i'm glad that's how i met Nas and everybody and rachel and everyone i I don't i really say if it wasn't for this motherfucker i i I wouldn't be in this situation right now man i was such a fan to start off to to get things like this so you know anybody that i can support or can support what i'm trying to put out that means a lot and, and i'm gonna keep trucking and and i'm here to enjoy the experience guys well, thank you for coming. Yeah, yeah, cool. yeah, yeah. Rex McKinnicks, keep on trucking. Keep thank on you, trucking, man. You know, thank there's one thing I always said that I'm proud of is that if anything that my way did is bring people together and get people to get creative. And I've noticed over the years since my way that a lot of the people that followed us ended up getting very creative in their own things. So I'm very proud of that. Yeah. Or part of my way now, like myself, like I can say I came in as a true fan like that too since 06 and now I'm in it and now it's like, it's one of those things that's like, it's 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 weird weird to me me. because I was such a fan and now I'm like, I know all these people and I do stuff for them and with them and I'm like, wow, you know, they really do bring people together. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I agree. I agree. I think if it if it wasn't for you, oh, I don't know, bro. I don't think I would have met like my little clique of homies that you know I know online and whatnot, bro. And it's it's amazing because we still make those references to this day. <laughs> so it, it, it definitely, definitely has a, put, 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 put quite, quite an impact, impact on my life. life. So, so yeah, I, I definitely, definitely would. We were seeing what was it like? Seeing last episode, the word influencer and how people use that word online to describe themselves. That we said that. 
we, we think, think that that's, that's something that like a title that should be giving to given to somebody like mentor. Yeah. And I mean, definitely I would think that my way is definitely influenced a lot of people because I mean, we've, there was the whole documentary and then we see people online all the time and it's, it's amazing to see, you know, people's creative juices flow from something that, you know, mm-hmm. was made in fun. Yeah, exactly. All out of spirit. I know we we're giving you such praise, Nas, but it's just it, it, it it's just it's the facts, man. Really I wasn't is. even thinking about myself when you guys were talking. Facts, I was just man. thinking about like this like, food. <laughs> yeah, it's my food as well. But I was just thinking about how <laughs> when she said like that title shouldn't just be should be earned and not just given. Because yeah. I know most yeah. people out there is like, look, I'm an influencer, and I'm like, mm, you're just out there. Uh, I think it is. It is a title that should be should be earned or given, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I guess people should be like, you know, confident and cocky, but you know, just don't go out there and call yourself a god if you ain't a god. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I agree. Exactly. I think like I think that's perfect. You know, you do have people that come out on the wrong. I don't know. I, I, they come out as that influencer. They're like, well, I'm an influencer and I do this, but it's like, bro, you you don't. Maybe wow. is it me? No, no, no. I, no, I think it's it's, it's over thing. here because I think um, see to do this I have to do a lot of shit and it's like each. I'm not just playing it, but <laughs> I I think you and her are Echo? using the same audio. So even though I have you as separate things, it's the same fucking audio. So uh, <laughs> that's Rachel's weird. Face. Yeah. So I, yeah, I think I fixed it now. I don't know. We'll echo. see. Show me potato salad. You guys hear your echo? <laughs> now they're saying yeah. I'm echoing. I, I don't know why. The only Nas is echoing. Oh, man. Echo. Oh, only Nas isn't echoing. Okay. Yes. Now it's muted? They say no one. I know. I can't hear anything. Good now. I hear fine. It says good now. Yeah, man, it says good now. I think you're being overly sensitive because you're hungry. Oh no, it's good. Go, no, it's just go eat a Snickers. We're, we're good. We're good. Six Snickers, boy. I mean, in this food right here, look, look at this wonderful freaking arroz con gandules y y y y Oh shit. Mhm. All that. Ooh, all that. Know. All that. But let's go back to the influencers. <laughs> 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 who they fall right out? Who they? You know, you know what gets me is that a lot of times these influencers I see influencers I see on TV somehow it's like this person whatever YouTube whatever I'm like I've never seen or heard you, but that just shows how many people are out there with a big audience and influencing people. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, I, I agree, bro. I think like. <laughs> nonsense ever you look at someone like like uh, there's a saying about history it's like you don't print the truth you print what's famous you print like the hype so Mm -hmm. a lot of people that got famous were throughout history were for literally no reason when it was actually somebody else that did all the work so i think that's something that's been going on since forever and now i'm like you know coming you know from the 20th century and the 21st that's all we know how to do we don't make or you know smart philosophers famous not until they're dead 
And then even then, you know, if you read them or try to quote philosophy and stuff like that, somebody would just call you a bougie hipster. Bouge. A bouge. A bouge. I mean, if that was the key, man, I would have just done stupid shit from the get-go. But technically, (laughs) I was doing stupid shit from the get-go. But, you know, not that. Not no. that dumb. To not to the fact that you were making people laugh, but like it made it, it mattered. It wasn't like it was just like, oh, this shit ain't funny. What the hell? You know, like you got people that do dumb shit that like put I don't know, do put cinnamon in their mouth for ten, ten, like five, <laughs> ten minutes and try to accomplish something with it. Or you got people that fucking like I don't know, put like lemon juice in their eye. Like I don't get it, bro. I've been seeing so so much no. dumb shit. And I'm just like, how did how have how how has this person got some type of income from this? I, I don't get it. Like, shout out to Jackass, but that's not what I mean, bro. Like, I mean, just... I, I get it. I, I, I do follow one dude who who just does stupid wrestling stunts. And Mm-mm. it's stupid, but it, it entertains me a lot. But he's mm. making it. <laughs> so <laughs> shout out to that guy. I shout out shout out to John Human, Hunnam, something. I don't know. Some shit. Mm-hmm. Jumps on barbed wires and shit. Ooh, there you go. Superhuman. Superhuman or something like that. He just oh, go man. like, this is all for my juggalos and juggalettes. And then he's like, oh, yeah. That yeah, 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 shit. Yeah, 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 I know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> he entertains me. Yeah, no, he's... I, I can't lie. Shout out to that guy, man. He's yes. hardcore, yeah. He's hardcore. <laughs> I fuck with him. You have no <laughs> idea what you're talking about? <laughs> Don't worry about it. Just some, <laughs> some crazy juggalo <laughs> doing some crazy wrestling shit. Now the now the people in the chat are saying that when I switch over to one screen, things get muted. So I'm just gonna like just stay on the three screen right now, even though I like doing okay. the even though I just, like doing the one screen stuff because I like doing my not, production. It's not gay when you do it in a three way. Oh, Holy we got shit. A, oh over my screen I got like a green box. Oh shit! Yeah, okay. yeah. Hey, hey, I don't know why I'm so hype about that. Shout out to the green <laughs> box. All right, cool. yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're deep in the machine room now, buddy. Yeah. Yes, man. I'm Everybody here. gets the color. Everybody That's gets the up. color. It was like orange at first, wasn't it? Um, I like. No. It's all good. <laughs> Who was orange? My hair. No, orange. no. Once, <laughs> no. The first time you did a guest layout, the bar was orange. <laughs> I change it up. I, you know, I make it different all the time. Mm-hmm. I understand. Rachel, can I ask a question? Sure. What is that? Uh, I, I'm sorry that I'm having a slow moment, but that little mini figurine that you have in the back over there. What character is that? Over here. Yes. Um, I only have. Uh, the Joker and uh, Deathstroke. It totally went blank. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Deadpool? Okay. No, that it's doesn't okay. sound right. Uh, uh, do I just have a quick question, guys. DC or Marvel? And we'll keep it at that. I love just... DC. I'll be a DC fan till I die. I love that. I love that. Nice. Oh, man. That's a hard one. Uh... Comic book wise, I have to be honest. DC, DC, yeah. and it's mostly in the Batman comics. Like mm-hmm. those go like it. those go really really hard. Yeah. Marvel, mm-hmm. Marvel is great with events like big events. They're fucking mm-hmm. like fantastic. Like War and shit. Yeah. DC big events are like fantastic, but they're so like crazy that it's hard for me to follow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and they're they're not like short lived. Like they'll last like a while and then if you want to try to read about it, you have to read like forty thousand comics yeah. to try to get the whole story. Everybody's that is true. perspective. Yep. Yeah. That is true. That is true. But it's fun. Comics are fun and I highly advise and recommend people to read comics. Please. Speaking of, I just Please. got this in the mail. Let me whip this bad boy out. <laughs> Uh oh. The anticipation. Ooh. Special edition. All hey, one oh. thing. It's pretty it's thing. hard back. That don't look nice. Ooh. Okay. It's been a minute since I read it. It's a scarecrow? What was the crow? 
the crow, just the crow. Yeah. Yes, it's been a minute since I've, I've I've read a crow comic book. Man, that's crazy, man. That's nice. Yeah, that's I've nice. been waiting been for this for a while. Been a minute since I've seen the crow movie. Bro, that's one of those movies you should watch like once a year at least. Once yes. a year? Yeah, at least like. That's not excessive. No, no. And especially like. <laughs> On Devil's maybe, Night. Maybe it's for Devil's Night. Yeah, yep, you should watch it every Devil's Night. night. You it's should watch it for Halloween. <laughs> and the whole oh. time you're watching that movie, you gotta be like, fire it up! Fire it fire up! It up! <laughs> fire it up! <laughs> what if I'm tired? Do I, do I just... <laughs> then, then you go, fire it up. Fire it up. Yep. You can do one exactly. arm. <laughs> just one arm. <laughs> just one arm. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Phantom oh. Knight asks, anyone ever see Crow Stairway to Heaven TV series? Yes. I, I wouldn't the say what? I loved it because it could have been way better, <laughs> but I watched it. It introduced a lot of cool stuff, like um, the opposite of a crow is a snake. It's like an evil crow, and they can come back and wreak revenge, too. And there was a lot of cool stuff, but they didn't have money to shoot at night, so the whole show was shot during the day. I... I owned that series at one point, then I got rid of it and I regret it. But yes, I totally did watch the grow, the grow, the crow, the crow series. Cause that guy I looked a lot like Brandon Lee too. Yeah, I love Mark DeCasco, so when that show came out, I was very excited for it. I am not hip, guys. I'm I'm still a Padawan. Oh, and shit. Naked. I'm sorry. Oh. I did not go out my way. But no, our, the conversation, you know. Um, We're going to learn from you today. I wish I could tell you where you could see it, Rex, but there's literally, like, nowhere right now where you can no. see that shit. For real? Oh, yeah. that shit like Marvel vs. Capcom 2? Yeah. <laughs> worse than that. <laughs> worse than that? Oh, jeez. It's like trying to find a copy of, uh... Shit, I just learned to blame. <laughs> You know what? No, that's bullshit. I know where you can find it. Conventions. Because it's always a vendor selling fucking bootleg shows. Oh, hell yeah. And they always hell have yeah. that. Hell yeah. But they never have this one show I'm looking for called WMAC Masters. And I always ask. They're like, uh, I don't know. What is that? But we don't um, have it. You can get it on Amazon. WMAC Masters or The Crow? The Crow. <laughs> oh, <laughs> You almost, you almost got me happy as hell. I was about to be like, well, fuck you guys. I'm Yo, about to go to Amazon. Swift, I saw the face. He got so happy. Like, oh, wait, what? Hell yeah. <laughs> it was like WMSC Masters? <laughs> Y'all just don't know, man. <laughs> wow. <laughs> he got so high. He's like, wait, what? I can do what now? <laughs> I love yeah. WMSC Masters. It was like fantastic. It was a show where... It was it was all filmed in like Universal Studios Orlando and you knew it and it was nothing but martial artists and they had to go through this tournament and it was cool but then as the show got deeper it was like some story about this fucking uh, uh um not not an organization but like a underground martial arts freaking clan or some shit that wanted to get the the title from them and they were doing all this shady shit and you didn't know who was who was good who was bad but the real cool thing about the show was that they actually had the guy who was Liu Kang in the Mortal Kombat game oh nice um one dude who actually was called the machine <laughs> so he fits into this podcast <laughs> one dude who was in the Mortal Kombat movie is the black dude with the dreadlocks that uh I think uh Sonya Blay fought why does he got to be all that? He like, can't just be the, the, fighter, he was the, the he fighter was the, guy. <laughs> he was the black dude with the drill. I'm trying to like, so when you see wow. more combat, when you see more combat, you'd wow. be like, oh shit, it's uh, the machine, this guy. Um, also, <laughs> the guy who played Scorpion in the Mortal Kombat movie was in the show WMC yeah, Masters. Yeah. Oh, oh wow! So it was it was a really cool show that lasted like two seasons. Left you at a cliffhanger because it got canceled, or whatever. But can't find it anymore. <laughs> Damn, dude, that's like that's like the clip I can't find when I was on Attack of the Show on G4 TV. I can't find that clip nowhere. Bro. Oh like, shit, you was on Attack of the weird. Show? Yeah. I oh went, no, real? no. I tell I me, tell me about. Bro, 
right? They're all at their houses, whatever the Um, and it, it was so crazy because it was just like, damn, dude, like this is really a thing. I used to love watching Attack of the Show. And for people that know what that is, yep. um, but I, that is. I I went in there and and Kevin Pereira and Olivia Munn, who Olivia Munn's a famous actor now that, that used to be the 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 uh, the host. And um, the first episode I was on, it was around Thanksgiving, and they asked me, they they just picked me at random. They said they're you're going to be on national television, and they're going to pick you at random. And literally, they picked me, and he was just like Rex, and he was like, "What you gonna have for for Thanksgiving?" And me being stupid, I was like, "Yeah, man," but it was facts. I was like, "I'm gonna have fried chicken." Like, I just looked like a dumbass, just saying, "Oh yeah, I'm gonna have fried chicken." <laughs> and then a little of your mom made some smart ass comment. And I was like, "What?" <laughs> And then I just told him, I was like, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Like, turkey's too dry. It's just too dry. It's nothing that I can like. It. It's just not my thing. White meat is just a little too much to me personally. Gotta have a little juice on that motherfucker. You know what I mean? That turkey looks kind of good. But yeah, exactly. I was telling him about that. And um, yeah, that was the first time. And the second time I was on there, I was just in two times. I was in, I was in the room, but I didn't get picked the second time. I didn't get picked the second time. I was on television but i was just in the room just there just looking like because they don't always pick everybody they pick mm -hmm, you know yeah. or some shit but yeah man that was i missed that shit man that was tight no my homie didn't believe me and then i told him i was like look at this and i had a rerun that morning and he, he got he was like man you i was like yeah <laughs> shut that shit up bro like but yeah that was cool though. it was cool um i have some questions for you we're gonna, gonna be, be very, very... And like, like any show you've ever done, so, so get, get ready for like the dumbest questions you've ever gotten. Oh, I love this. Okay, cool. Okay. Cool. <laughs> How many light bulbs are in this building? How many light bulbs are in this building? Sixteen. Good. Close. Wait, hold on. Seventeen. What building are we talking about? <laughs> this building, bro. Stop asking questions, bro. They y'all giving me the questions. Sixteen. Okay. How would you sell me eggnog in the summer? Go. It got liquor in it. That's a good ass answer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, that was good. Mm. Is a Jaffa cake a biscuit or a cake? Wait, say that again? Is a Jaffa cake a biscuit or a cake? I think that's a UK thing. A Jaffa cake? What the hell is a Jaffa? Hold on, wait, 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 guys. That's the Give correct answer. <laughs> oh, okay, cool, 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 cool. I'm cool with that. All right, cool, cool. Next, next uh, question. <laughs> yeah, the full answer would have been, "What the fuck is a Jaffa cake?" But okay. I'll accept that. Um, why on earth are you here today? 1992. Close. Oh. The answer is yes. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> All right, cool, cool, cool. Oh, what would I find in your fridge right now? Um, honestly. that's a good ass question. Yeah. Honestly, one of the items, cilantro. Just cilantro? So uh, that's good. Not just. <laughs> <laughs> if I just Har have cilantro. harvesting that shit. Yeah, the cilantro. Oh, yeah. <laughs> The hell you do with cilantro? How do I, how do I what? And what do you do with all that cilantro? I mean, well, first and foremost, I chop it up, right? I make sure I chop it in tiny bits. And if I'm making something that got rice in it, it depends on what it is. Because you can put that on tacos, too. So cilantro on tacos is really fucking good. Mm -hmm. So I just make sure that I just put it in my mix. That's mm -hmm. what I do. You can make really good, like, shrimp tacos with just shrimp, cilantro, Lime and butter. Boom. Are you making me hungry? If Honestly. alien if aliens landed in front of you and in exchange for anything you desire offered you any position on their planet, what would you want? We got uh, stopped it, on this one. He did. Uh, um a rich nigga that's off the grid. There you go. 
I think that's what everybody wants. Yeah. Mm-hmm. To be off the grid? Yeah. And rich. And yeah. ribs, ribs, and hey, off the grid. Rich. No, rich. rich. Oh, rich. Yeah, rich. <laughs> <laughs> no you rims. No, no. Rims. You you need to want just ribs and to be off the grid. <laughs> ribs. <laughs> no. Man. Yo, I, I mean, he, I can't lie. I'd be kind of con. Ribs, like rich crackers. It's like rich no, crackers no, and to be off the grid. No, rich and to be off the grid. But <laughs> I'm gonna take ribs, beef ribs. <laughs> though. They have to be beef ribs. <laughs> That's blasphemy. <laughs> All hey. about pork ribs. I like pork ribs too. How would you design a spice rack for a blind person? Yes. Um. Braille. Good. I'll accept that. Mm-hmm. I don't have a glass. Here, wait. Show me this glass of water. Show you the glass of water? No. Sell. Oh. Sell me this Sell glass of water. Sell you this glass of water? Um, so if I'm correct, how many weeks do you not need to drink water? I mean, is it weeks or is it three days? Is it three days? It's three days. Okay. So, um, I said eight weeks. Wow. What is wrong with me? Um, so I I want you to know this is the third day and you need hydration. You're going to die tomorrow. So take this and drink it and put it in your throat. And I need you to glug it as much as you can. (laughs) Here you go. That's good. All right. Yeah. That sounded forced. It did. That sounded like you had a few on the third day, which you're not getting water no water. Now. It's going to sound forced. Yeah. That <laughs> you sounded know. like a gun was to her head. Like, drink yeah. this shit. You're going to eat this month. You gonna I, eat really, this month. <laughs> I really want some water right now. Oh, man. Drink this mother. Yeah. Oh, shit. He froze like uh, Max Headroom. He did. It was great. <laughs> These are great questions. I think no other freaking show and all of mankind oh, oh, ever man. got a great question like are that. We, what back? the fuck just happened over here? Um, explain quantum no. electrodynamics in two minutes, starting now. What the fuck? Um, that's, so it's that's right shit. there. <laughs> Oh, oh okay, okay, okay. Cool, 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 cool. See, get that in two minutes, y'all. Yep. Boom. Two seconds. Oh shit! Did you not see that? Like it just the whole thing went crazy. <laughs> nah. that's how shit goes in the machine room. Oh shit! I did see that. Oh god! <laughs> his screen was small. First of all, I lost like all <laughs> audio, and then his screen just started going small, small, big, small, that's big, and then oh it, my god! Yeah, hell yeah! <laughs> so, no, I totally missed that. You were totally, you were deep within the machine. You got lost in the machine room, dog. You came back. That's good. I'm we here. almost lost you. We almost lost you in the machine room. Oh god, that would have sucked. Shit gets crazy. All them quantum dynamics and shit fucked everything up. Right. Quantum dynamics. Do you guys believe in alternate dimensions? Yes. Yeah. Yes. So you believe there's an alternate you in the other dimension? Right. Well. Okay. Think of it like this. Why do you said, believe in alternate dimensions? There you go again. It's extremely possible because if look at a piece of paper, it's one dimension. One dimension cannot see within itself. Or it can see within itself, it can't see above itself. So we can see third into three dimensions. Mm-hmm. We can't see above that. So think of something in the first dimension. It probably thinks that something in the third Uh uh is highly unlikely and would never exist Uh so by that rationale i would i think that there is Mm -hmm. i mean if you look people think that time is in fourth dimension where we can't see it but we can describe it we can we we know it's there Mm -hmm. um Mm -hmm. and we can go beyond Mm -hmm. that then yeah i definitely think that there is Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay you lost me (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> I agree with everything you said, but you lost me. <laughs> that's all that matters. As long as you're on oh my, my side, God. that's all I care about. Because for, for like in the beginning when it involved paper, I was just like, okay, the upside down. Like that's what I was thinking about how they like explained the upside down with a paper or some shit. Kind of. Folding. Yeah. Rex, you need to stop to fucking up over here, man. What the hell? Stay still. Yeah, it's all big now. Yeah, what the hell's I'm going big? 
Oh yeah. man. No, no, now you, now you. I man. see it. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> you just, you just got. Had some say you just got a super much mushroom. Super, super mushroom, hey bro. I don't know. Maybe I'm tripping, bro. Maybe I'm, I need to calm down. I don't know, bro. <laughs> you can't come into the machine room without bringing us drugs too. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm trying my best to keep this, to, to, to keep this thing as organized as I can, with it's the okay, echoes man. and the mutes and you just marrying everywhere. That's a new word, marrying. Mario-ing. 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 It's because you brought the you brought in that damn banana and you didn't offer anybody any. Yeah, bro. Man, I had a whole dish, didn't I offer nobody? Man, no, nothing. Not I'm sorry. My bad, my bad. Just play drill as doesn't matter what kind of paper though, like loose leaf paper or printing paper. Creepy paper. Creepy. <laughs> it's creepy paper. It's creepy paper. <laughs> it's crep. Crepe paper, whatever. But Crap. if you watch the show, uh, what they do in the shadows, he was like creepy paper. It's like no, oh. it's, it's, it's oh, yes. shout out Taika Waititi. Yes, That's yo, I, we just like binged that shit today, and it's fucking the show is even as hilarious as the movie. Mm. So I've heard. So I've heard. So, so I've heard. I haven't watched it yet. Yeah, definitely check it out. It's only 10 episodes go by real quick, and there's one episode that is just like fucking gold that they have all these freaking cameos in. I heard I heard Wesley Snipes was in it. Oh yeah. What? Gotcha. Now I have yeah. to watch that. Yes. <laughs> Everybody that has played a vampire plays some sort of vampire. <laughs> Pretty like, much. Anyway. Pretty yeah. much. It's beautiful. <laughs> it's hilarious. But my favorite I don't even want to say it, but I I tweeted it so I already did kind of spoil it, but my favorite my favorite cameo showed up in that scene too. It's very hilarious. I see. I'm, I'm down. I, you know what's sad? I haven't even watched the movie yet, bro. Like, I, I haven't watched the movie. I'm, I, I know about the movie, obviously, but I just, I haven't watched it yet. So, I, I need to. Do that. I need it's to cool. Do that. I, I barely was introduced to that movie, like maybe last year, I think, because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. my girl was introduced to it by her brothers, and she was like, "This is hilarious. You gotta see it." And then I saw it, and I was like, "This is fucking hilarious. Why haven't I seen this before?" Mm. So. I just barely found out about that guy when he did the um, the Thor movie. The, yeah, the Thor movie. So then I went back and started watching his movies, like the uh, the Wilder People. The Wilder People, yeah. Oh, and mm. I love that movie. Yeah, he's he's very 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 smart guy. I'm gonna definitely check that out, man. I, I, re- I really will. I was gonna say something, but then I just my mind just went fucking blank. But, but yeah, no, I definitely will check that out. I'll definitely check that out. Hmm. I'm interested now. Yes, people in the machine room, check out what we do in the shadows and check out the series now all on Hulu. You plugged the shit out of that like you got money, mm-hmm. you got some money for it. I know I wish <laughs> I did. <laughs> plug, Backing plug, up the plug. Brinks truck. Yeah, Tiki is treasure. He is. He is. He definitely is. I could never say his name though. Taika Watiti. He's um New Zealand. Even a I get. I I know the Watiti part. The other part, like Watiti. Taika. Taika Watiti. Taika Watiti. Watutu. You speak Watutu? Watutu. Welcome to the machine room, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Welcome to the machine room. How how are you feeling being in the machine room, Rex? I like it, man. I like the vibe, man. Like I, I know I'm I'm I should have been at my house for this, but like I'm at my homie's house. But it's still all good vibes, and this is this is chill, man. I like yeah. the chill vibe. Plug like, your homie's crib, dog. Oh <laughs> yeah, shout out my homie's crib. Uh, my my my, my homie, uh, Mr. Plains. You know, if y'all y'all know him, man. I'll put his info. Can I put info in there? I don't want to put links if I can't put links. <laughs> right? Okay. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, yeah, man. So, you know, I'm going to just plug myself real quick if you guys aren't um, already following me. My name is Rex McKinnis again. Mm-hmm. And uh, I'm just here on a good day. That's all the plugs y'all going to get. Fuck everybody else, man. It's about me. All right? So, I'm here. <laughs> there you go. We're not even here anymore. <laughs> this is the Machine Room podcast featuring Rex uh-huh. McKinnis. I'm I'm here, y'all. What's up? What's up? Okay, yeah, we out here. Is that a rebel? <laughs> this is Why no. Is this this is a monster. 
Oh, okay. Yeah, I can't drink monsters. Every time I drink monsters, they go right through me. So you know, no sugar, uh, uh, no calories, ultra red. Mm. I drank a monster <laughs> once, and I flipped a table through a brick wall. So I thought Jesus I should stop. Christ. That's what's right. up, yo. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. No, I can't lie. That's badass. Like, I, but I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't want to be in the vicinity of that. I would hope I'm gone. Because I. Crazy. It's, it's that angry Irish woman power that we just, we just don't talk about. That's remind mm. that reminds me of a funny work story. Here he Got goes. Uh, my supervisor, who does the flight that I do, he has a tendency of um, uh, anger issues, but like in a like I'm a kid kind of way. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, let, for example, one time. They, they brought pizza to the break room and we were doing a flight and I went to the break room with his younger brother to get something. It was like, hey, here's pizza. And I'm like, all right. And I eat a slice. I asked, I told the brother, I was like, hey, you want to hit up your brother and let him know there's pizza? He's like, nah, it's cool. It's whatever. <laughs> I was like, all right. <laughs> so I'm just going to continue eating my pizza. Then the brother comes in, the supervisor, he comes in, he was like, Oh, must be nice pizza. And then he goes to look for the pizza, and then like, everybody ate the pizza. It's like, you know, save me no fucking pizzas. And then he just knocks Damn. the whole boxes down on his way back out. <laughs> oh shit! It's like, oh shit! You know, like a little kid. So that's just one instance. So, cut to this other time when uh, we're chilling in the break room, and someone threw something, and he thought it was like aimed at him. So he's all like, "Who the fuck threw that?" And he gets up, and it's like, "Who threw that?" It should piss me off, and then he flipped the table on that side of the break room. Oh my god! Just completely, and these tables that they got are some like really fucked up, like uh, what do you call those tables? Like uh, uh, the folding tables? No, 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 like the ones you find outside in the park. You know, they're wood, just the things all connected. The wood, wood, like literally, like you find in the park. Uh, like uh, a bench, like a bench kind of table. Kind of lunch picnic oh, table bench oh, oh. yeah you know what i'm talking about so anyways one of those okay so it's not light he a picnic table yeah like <laughs> a picnic table. table and he flipped that motherfucker upside down whoa and then he came back and sat wow. down we're like wow. whoa he calmed down now you know but he had his moments when he he, he lashed out a baby then i always make fun of how he flipped the table so when he gets mad i was like go, yo go flip that table dog what the fuck? Yeah. That's toxic, bro. I was just talking about that. And... Well, I was just talking about that, like, toxicity. Like, that's good. That's insane, bro. Like, especially if you're, like, you say he was a supervisor? He is a supervisor, yeah. That's, that's, why would they hire a supervisor to do, that's so unprofessional. I would have to punch him in his esophagus. Oh, man, I'm they hire. Hired... Yeah, I'm punching people in the esophagus. I'm not joking, like. They hire a lot that's, of people that that's how they shouldn't. Do. That's how we do. I'm just letting you know. They hire a lot of people that they shouldn't, and mm. that those people that shouldn't be hired will make you go that way. Like, I, you talk about toxicity and whatnot, and not trying to be. I've grown a lot of anger recently from that job, and I try to just be like Wusa and shit like that, but uh, my patience has been tested too much, and I. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I try not yeah. to be. I try not to be a dick too much, an asshole. But sometimes some people deserve it. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm just hell saying. Yeah, so. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. I always say it should be a legally, like a legal binding contract. If somebody was being a dick, it's okay to just hit them just once. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, just once. <laughs> yeah. But, like you totally get off for it. Like you go before the judge, and the judge is like, okay, what happened? Like. He was being a dick, and we were eating pizza, and he flipped the fucking table, so I knocked him, I punched him in his throat, and the judge is like, case dismissed. Yeah, <laughs> no, facts. 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 I will see that show. I will see yeah. that fucking judge show. Yeah, right off the bat. Yeah. That's, that's the judge show I want to host. I'm going to be the judge. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'll allow it. <laughs> Why did you drop kick him? Oh, um, he went to McDonald's when he was supposed to be <laughs> dumping the string. So, oh, pfft, allowed. Thank you. May I drop yeah, kick him again? Kate's dismissed. Kate's dismissed. <laughs> and then you know how it's always like that after shot. They're just like, I mean, he just needed to get a drop kick. Like, 
<laughs> you do the, the fake out where they're like, you yeah. know what? I'll allow it. <laughs> <laughs> You're good. You're good. You did a good deed for humankind, punching them in the throat. Do they even still give the people's court? They do. I'm pretty sure they it has do. Has a new yeah. judge and people. They're still stupid. It's fucking crazy. The same song. I think. <laughs> I think there's one thing that we can all agree on: that people will always just still be stupid. Yeah. Yup. That's Darwinism. Yeah. Stupid yeah. people just breed stupid people. Stupid and, people are just stupid people. Working at a call center made me realize that people yeah. are stupid. <laughs> Darwinism. That's- that's what I do. People are are fickle things that can't admit they're wrong, and they project all their faults on the other people, and they do stupid things, and that's just the way it's gonna be. That's just the way it is. <laughs> yeah, but no, 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 definitely for real. All jokes aside, yeah, I, I agree. You know, that's why it's like you know, it's so weird. Is that like? I, I said this on Twitter a couple of times. Like, I feel like the people I've met online are way better than the people that I know in real life. Like, I know some people in mm-hmm. real life that, that are are really good, good people. But like, I've met so many people online that were like so genuine. You know, like the connection that I've had. You know, even though I haven't spoken to you in quite some time, Rachel, but still, just like once again, it's just the fact of the matter that I met you online, and it's like. Yeah. It, it, Everyone that I've at least had a connection with, we may not be talking consistently, but it's always the same vibe every time we link up. So you know, I, I think I, I think we seek each other out. Like yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I, and especially yeah. the old days of the internet, <clears throat> back when it was like AOL and all that kind of shit. Ah. Was, yeah. That's that's what we looked for. We we were trying to find people like us because there weren't people like us where we lived. Mm-hmm. So it was like. I know I'm not alone. I can feel that there's other people like me. I just need to find them. And the internet has always been that. And I've gotten to meet some people like that in real life. Like I met Gina and um, other friends that I've met online. And they're more influential than people that I meet in everyday life. Like face to face. Facts. Yeah, Thanks. there's a lot of people I met, like you guys, through online that I wish I could meet in person. That's why whenever I did get to meet people like at C2E2, it was a joy, you know. It's like, finally, I get to meet people like I met uh, Nathan Gallahan and True Inferno and and Jerry Martinez, you know. Ooh, I, we got to get him on this show one day. Oh, First please, time. please, 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 please. Yeah. Oh, I would love that. <laughs> so, um, yeah, um, Manny, Manny is someone that we both wish we could hang out together. You know, mm-hmm. I just, all you guys, D Black, Travis, you know, it just, it, it's a family outside of my own family that I cherish, and you know, I, I wish I could spend more time with you guys, but you know, life, and, of course. but it's fantastic that we're all here. And it's true, like, I have a closed circle of friends, you know, that I consider my family. It's like Fast and Furious, like, I got no friends. I got family. Damn. Uh, uh, so, uh, <laughs> so, you know, online is the same thing. Like, I don't let a lot of people into my circle. You got to be, like, very special and, and, and at the same vibe. You got to be in the machine room to be part of my family. Exactly. Facts. Facts. D player yeah. asks, are wired headphones... And earphones dying. I think so because people yeah. are sick of either buying batteries or recharging shit. People are also tired of having tangled headphones. That shit's annoying. <laughs> I swear to God, that's that's one of the most like because you could spend a fucking five minutes just trying to untangle headphones. Bro. And Fuck they em. don't. They weren't like that, you know. Like I have this really weird rich, 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 uh-huh. ritual of winding them up <laughs> like like you would a rope. So mm-hmm. then when I take them out, they should look exactly like that. And instead, they look like a fucking cat's hairball. Oh, God. That's always the pain. Yarn. Like with the spit and everything, it's gross. Oh, I man. love uh, wireless headphones, but I wish they last longer. So mm-hmm. I'm yep. s- 
I'm still hoping for the day that you know you got something that will last really really fucking long because I used to wear them at work but then I always have to worry about the charge and shit and, yep. oh, and man. it was not cool so I just wear the wired ones right now it's all good I'm cool with that but I really wish there was like some really long lasting wireless headphones that feels that it's all about batteries in general I mean if we have better battery technology these right wing douchebags wouldn't fucking try to kill the electric car every time it comes out Hell white yeah. wing fucking douchebags. Douchebags, bro. Call Fuck this them. episode White Wing Douchebags. White, white wing, right douche wing. That's the name of my next mixtape. White there you Wing go. Douchebags. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I have a problem with any kind of extremist, either left or right, mid, like anything. Like people should try to think for themselves and listen to the facts and make up their own mind instead of trying to fit into some cookie shell. All right, so mm. if I were to say explain uh, extremists to uh, in layman's term, how would you? An extremist is anybody that is way too hype about one thing. <laughs> <laughs> so it could be like anything. <laughs> anything you mm. can be an extremist about chocolate chip cookies. Like, there's no other kind of cookies. There's only chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> Like, if you're a fascist dick about anything, like, you need to calm down. Like, got, there's other shit out there. I stack of, stack of chocolate chip cookies, <laughs> man. That's all I eat. I'm like, yo, can you calm down? Why are you so aggressive? Because they chocolate chip, they man. Chocolate I'm like, bro, <laughs> get on my face, bro. <laughs> mm, wasn't there, like, a SpongeBob episode where someone was trying to sell cookies real bad or something? Bro, they were trying to sell chocolate, and the first guy started tweaking the fuck out. Oh, yeah, chocolate! Chocolate! <laughs> said, but, and then they went to the lady's house, and she was like, she's like, chocolate. Oh, man, I haven't had chocolate all my life. <laughs> I hated it. Like, I'm like, yo, wh why? She was old, like, it was an old lady and a worm that was older than the older lady. I was like, bro, I don't oh understand. <laughs> <laughs> that was the best voice and impression ever, by the way. Chocolate. <laughs> I think that's exactly how she sounded. <laughs> that's exactly how she sounded. She said, hey, Ma, they're selling chocolate. <laughs> what? Chocolate. She said, oh, chocolate. Uh, chocolate. <laughs> Yo, I'm about to cry, bro. That's, that's a, that would be a chocolate extremist. Yeah, exactly. It's too much. Because you know what's funny? That guy caught up to him in the end of the episode, still aggressive. Teeth all mangled. He said, I finally caught up to you. I was like, bro, he came <laughs> off like a serial killer. And he was like, I would just like to take some chocolate, please. I'm like, bro, why didn't you come like that in the beginning? Why were you so aggressive? <laughs> You make me fear for my life, so I, I don't know that. I, don't I mean, know. when you love chocolate, you love chocolate. What can you say? You're damn right. You're damn right. Man. I can't believe I just had a full blown conversation about that. But yeah, yeah. Man, that's what happens in the machine room, dude. Welcome to the machine room. Only in the machine room. Only hey, in man, the machine room that. podcast. This happens. You got to get a sound Fair effect. It's like the, the machine room. I, I, oh, yes. yes. I want I'll one. I want one badly. And I'll be there. Meh, 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 and all their stupid shit. We should get that Jason guy to do a bunch of shit like that. Oh, yes. I'm here. Yeah. I had him finally send me the audio that I asked him to do for the next project. And yeah. this guy was like, I told him, like, dude, this was, like, perfection. You should really go, like, freaking. Oh. Yeah, you should really go pro for this. He's like, oh, man, that's great coming from you. Like, as if I'm, like, a voiceover studio, you know. Like, <laughs> like dude, I just, I just do this oh, for fun. God. Now but has two voices, his voice and a girl voice. That's it. I really <laughs> have, I have yeah. no ranges. <laughs> I have <laughs> no <laughs> ranges at all. <laughs> oh but my that, God. that Jason dude, like for real, like we did, um, we've done two commercials with him. And this last one, I, I was like, this is what I want. And I sent him some examples of like, those late night infomercials and this one guy in particular and I was like like that exactly like if you can do that he's like okay just give me a little while to try to sort it out and figure it out and I was like okay well you know you have to like the end of the month and then we really need to and he was like okay and then I kind of forgot about it and then he hits me up and he's like he just emails me the file and then he texts me and says hope you like it 
and it was verbatim exactly like what I wanted. Oh, oh wow. I mean, he's amazing. Wow. wow. Yeah. That's always good. That's always good. Shout out to Jason Moore, because I told him what I wanted, and I think I showed him what the character looked like, or sent him a clip, I don't remember. But he, his voice literally looked like it was that character's voice. And really? probably was from the movie too. I don't. I don't remember, but it was. It's good. He 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 got talent. He got ta- he got ranges. Not like me. He got ranges. Shout out to him. Jason Moore, you said. Shout out. Him. Yeah, yeah, and he does. So cool. uh, he does gaming and stuff on Twitch too. And we'll drop his channel. Please. Name and yeah. He's really good, and he. I've seen him do some voice work and stuff while he's doing. Um, on Twitch, like while he's gaming, he does like impressions and stuff. He's really funny. That's what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. That's this what is we bear, do. by the way, for people to ask. That's what we do in the Machine Room Podcast. We the bear show. We have dogs. Shout out doggos and puppers. God damn right. When did doggos become become a term? I think I missed a meeting. Um, I want to say 2010, 11. Remember when they had that meme where it was like the close up of like the Doge? Uh, and it was it was like so good, uh, doggo or some. I think whenever that happened. So. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. So yeah, the doge. Yeah. Shout out doggos and puppers. <laughs> I think he wants down. Gang, gang. We'll be out here. Come on. There he goes. He left. Bear has left the building. No. Wait. What? Oh, okay, 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 okay. I was about to say. What happened? Looking at some things. I was like, oh, you guys want to film it yet? Like, uh, yeah, we'll get that popping. We will. We'll get that. Yeah, we will get that popping. I will bring some people through. I love, man, but, uh, yeah, uh-huh. I said a bunch of nothing right there, but, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was like, <laughs> the fuck just happened? <laughs> this guy just had a tangent on his own, like, yeah, uh-huh, bunch of popping, yeah, oh. Uh. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh-huh. <laughs> Shit. He busted out. Right. <laughs> he turned into like James Brown in that freaking <laughs> interview. Watch <laughs> Hit me. Like, we're like, bro, we're eating dinner. Hit me. And we're like, nah, bro, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> I have to say, that was like the f- the only great moment to me in that fucking movie of Jackie Chan's uh, The Tuxedo was when he hit James Brown and. He did ah! and spin and hit the floor. That was the funniest part to me. Bro, you want to know what's sad? What's sad? You want to know what's so sad? I've only seen like two Jackie Chan movies. I may, what? but hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. Okay. Okay. I'm that guy that is like hip to everything, uh-huh. but not hip to everything. If that makes sense. Like mm-hmm, I, mm-hmm, I, mm-hmm. I know of all Jackie Chan movies. I just never sat down and watched. Just like what we do in the shadows. Mm-hmm. Do you know? I just watched Akira in 2016. It's mm, terrible, fuck. bro. Yeah, exactly. Mm, like, mm. I just, I have to get that time because I'm so consumed and I know so much about these things. But a lot of the times I try to indulge more, but I end up missing that opportunity. So a lot of people haven't even watched Game of Thrones. So I don't want to hear nothing. Yeah. So, so yeah. Phantom wants to know, and so do I, uh, what two Jackie Chan movies are the only ones he's seen? Off the top of my head, bro, I have to go t- to a list. Give me a second. Oh one my God. Second. You don't even know the titles yeah, of the it's movies. The, it's that dog. bad, bro. It's that bad, bro. It's that bad. It is that bad. Uh, it's been a minute. I haven't seen them in so long. God damn it. Don't judge me. Shit. One second. Even if you've seen all the rush hours, you you would have seen three I've seen Jackie all, Chan I've seen movies. all of the of the rush hours. God damn it. I've seen I think it was Rumble in the Bronx. Of course. Um, I seen. One of my favorite. Oh shit! Not the drunken. I seen Drunken Master. Yeah. It was Master. Yeah, I seen that. What was the one where he was? Um, it was it was derived from the the anime. Oh my god! City Hunter. City Hunter. There we go. I've seen that one too. Yeah. So like. And the one with Owen Wilson. I don't know why I watched Shanghai. That wild, Shanghai wild, wild, wild. Yeah, Midnight. Yeah, but I know he has way more movies before then that were a lot better. So technically, OG. that's 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 more than just two Jackie Chan movies. He that's just like put out there. Movies. 
yeah, man, those are just some of the ones that I can remember that I saw. I was like, oh yeah, I seen that movie. Wait, it's more been than so you. long. Bro. It's been a minute, man. It's been a minute. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. I can accept that Rex only seen like a couple Jack Chan movies, but just plain draw in the chat room only seen one Indiana Jones movie. What the True. fuck? Which yeah. one? What? Ooh, the foreign over Jackie Chan was better, actually pretty good. I didn't see the foreign. Was that that was the most recent one, right? Yeah, yeah. And it, I didn't see that. It needed more Jackie, but the Jackie parts were fucking fantastic. I'm gonna go sit in the corner and go watch Jackie Chan for a whole weekend. That's what I'm about to do, actually. <laughs> I'm, about to, I'm gonna go watch Indiana Jones. <laughs> <laughs> all Jackie, all the time. If Jackie I could run it again. If I could run the channel, I'd be like, just Jackie all time, every day. Jack, here's Jackie. Where did the, Jackie go? Jackie over there. The first one. He only seen the first Indiana Jones movie. That's Raiders, right? Raiders and the Lost Ark, yeah. Mm. Raiders and the Lost Ark. Mm. Well. I gotta remember that, was... that there's a lot of young people who haven't seen movies. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Raiders, Last, Last Crusade. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. It's crazy because some references I make people don't get, and I'm just like, you young bucks. But I, I just, luckily, I have met a lot of people around my age range Ooh. in on the internet, and not a bunch of young bucks and, and thunder fucks. <laughs> you want to hear something funny? Yes. Like, well, that like the, my only things that I used to watch when I was little, besides like The Land Before Time, was like Star Wars and Indiana Jones. And then when I found out they were made by the same fucking guy, my head exploded. <laughs> <laughs> like, literally blood shot out of my neck. Oh, uh, my God. I didn't what? know that for years. You know what's crazy? A lot of people have not seen Star Wars. It's more common than you think. It's really? way more common than you think. Like, I actually, I've noticed a lot of people have not seen Star Wars. And I was like, bro, why? A lot of people are like, oh, I don't want to watch it. It's fag. And, and some people are just like, I just never. Just like how I haven't seen some of those Jackie Chan movies. They just never got an opportunity to actually watch Star Wars. Star and Wars, like, yeah. Star Wars was always. List. Oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. I have this way of gauging if a movie is good or not as if my mom has seen it. Because my mom hates everything. If my mom has seen it and she likes it, then it has to be good. <laughs> and my mom likes Star Wars. <laughs> I think Star Wars was always just connected to like, oh, that's geeky, nerdy stuff. Yep. So a lot of people was like, yeah, whatever. But when the prequels came out and especially the new ones, then people started like jumping in. And me... I introduce people to that, so it's like it's like you gotta watch Star Wars, you know, like. Yeah. So oh, yeah. I actually introduce my girlfriend to Star Wars. Now she freaking loves Star Wars. But the one reason I love to introduce people to it because I want to see their reactions, you know. That's now, true, especially now, with the originals. Yes. So most most people know the whole like you know Darth Vader's Luke's father, blah blah blah. So that's not so much as a secret, all right? Mm -hmm. Wait, um, what? Yup. <laughs> yup, spoiler alert. Oh my god. <laughs> um, but she was surprised about the whole uh, Luke and Leia. But the real the real emotion that happened was the Force Awaken and what happened to Han Solo. Yeah. Oh man, that that, that hurt my heart. Up. Yeah. I was like, bro, for real, that's just <laughs> that's how you gonna do my mans, bro. Like, I love it. I love that I love seeing someone I love introducing someone to something and seeing their reactions to a Same. movie that I love. And it just makes me love it again and even more. Yeah. I showed her the John Wick movies and the reaction to <laughs> the dog <laughs> was priceless. And I was like, yeah, you see, now you know why these motherfuckers need to die. Huh? <laughs> everybody died. He, he was killing the doorman. Like, everybody fucking died. You know, you know what's crazy? Uh, fucking... Um, you never seen John I... Wick? <laughs> <laughs> Dog. Bro, Are you I... serious? Yeah, guys, as cultured as I am, I still have to see Book What the Wick. fuck? Dog. Oh my god. Dog. Well, and you know what? You got to envy him right now because he couldn't watch all three movies back to back and it's going to be fucking That's glorious. True. Yeah. But. All of them. Back to back. I am. 
I'm gonna see. That's my. That's my. That's what I'm gonna do this week. Yeah. Now, fuck, of course forget Jackie Chan movies. Fuck that shit. Your mission. This is homework for you from the machine room is to watch the John Wick trilogy so far. And the Jackie Chan movies. Yes, that we that could be John second. Wick first. John Wick yeah. first. Then the Jackie Chan movies. Okay. Then gotcha. Jackie Chan and the then Jackie Star Wars. Chan. Just playing Dro no, hasn't I, seen I'm, John I'm Wick good. either. I'm good with Star Wars. Star Wars, I'm good. Yeah, yeah, I'm good. Dro, see John. Everybody here who hasn't seen John Wick, see John Wick. Okay, it's a masterpiece. Once, once again. My mom hates everything, and my mom has seen John Wick, and she loves it. So it has to be a good movie. It's a it's a mom thing that they love to see someone just be like God mode and just fuck because my mom loves like uh, Steven Seagal movies because yeah. you can't fuck with Seagal like he'll fuck everybody up and she even says like ah, I love him you, you can't fuck with him and I was like yes mom that's exactly right you can't fuck with him <laughs> can't fuck with John Wick either especially to animals. That's why he should work for PETA and just murder the shit out of everybody. Fuck mm. PETA. Mm. <laughs> I'm putting that on record. Fuck SeaWorld, bro. I'm putting that on record. Thank you. Yes, for fuck SeaWorld. So Wait, bullshit. what's SeaWorld? Man, do we really gotta get into this? Do I need to get into details right now? Man? Are you talking about like Sea World or like yeah, Sea man. World, like, like the, the letter like the C? The no, of fucking no. animals. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, okay. Then sea I, World. Fuck I know, sea World. I know what Sea World is. I thought there was like something new called Sea World, like a new wow. crew or something. I'm like, who the fuck? <laughs> like, what? A, like a Crip Gang, man? Like <laughs> yeah. Sea World. Yeah, like nah, bro. <laughs> what's, what's, what's this Peter versus Sea World? What's going it's on here? Sea World, man. I'm like it's blue on this side, bro. They got orcas on that side. Nah, good. <laughs> like, nah, man. <laughs> oh man, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> God, <laughs> what have I come this into? This is the machine world, cuz. Huh? All day, we out here. We out here. All day in the cut? machine. What up, cuz? Machine room, man. We're we're all we're all peace in the machine room. There's no. I hatred. gotta tell you like a story about that whole world that. As, you know, people joke around a lot about it, but that shit's real. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I used to live in California. Um, so I had my friend Juan uh, come visit me. He was in the Marines, and so we went out to Hollywood one night. And he was always worn red. That's just always like it's like his favorite color. When I met him, his hair was red. Right, right, right. So, I feel it. you know. Um, red, he did his right red here, thing, dog. and we go out, and it wasn't a problem until the end of the night. We're leaving this bar called the Dragonfly, and we're outside. You know, after last call, we're just kind of wondering, like, where are we going to go next? Do you want to go get food? Do you want to, you know, go back to the apartment? And these two dudes wearing all blue went and got right up in his face, like this close to his face, and we're like, do you have a fucking problem? And oh, he's wow. a Marine, so he's not going to back down. He goes, no, do you have a fucking problem? And I was wearing this spiked dog collar, and I took it off, and I start wrapping it around my hand. Oh, I'm shit. Like, we're about to go. <laughs> yeah, she, she was about to go gently unleashed and shit. And, and he was like, no, nah, I don't have a fucking problem unless you have a fucking problem. They're like, no, nah, we're cool. He was like, all right, then. And they just kind of like slowly backed away. And that was that. But yeah, yeah, shit almost popped off. I think they were more scared of you. Probably. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm almost six foot, so that and the dog collar, so Yeah. I'm like, damn, bro, she tall. And she got a dog collar, bro. I don't know about her, man. Let's go back to the crib real quick. <laughs> what up, cuz? We gotta get out of here, cuz. What up, cuz? We gotta get the hell up out of here, cuz. We just scared. Cud. We made a wrong. <laughs> Bitch crazy, wrong decision, cuz. We gotta cud. go. We crazy. Hey, hey. Hey, cuz, that bitch crazy, cuz. Let's Why? get the fuck out here, cuz. Why didn't you jump him? Yo, that bitch had a dog <laughs> collar around her a fucking fist. Yo, hey, I ain't cud. fucking with that. It was like, yo, cuz, we stepped up. We thought it was discrepancies. Then we reevaluated the situation <laughs> and stepped back. We did a reverse. <laughs> like, what? We popped out. We was out. They have like a, a a full out fucking professional meeting and everything to talk about it and shit. <laughs> the diagram, the thing. graph and shit. They yeah. had one of those meeting rooms at the Ramada Inn, oh, and they, God. you know, had catering and. Yes. They're all wearing blue. 
Look, car. If you like, look, if you look at these crafts, it'd be like crafts. What is that? If you look at these crafts, I'm like, are you trying to say grass? Crash? You got a problem with how I'm pronouncing it? Cause I'm like, oh man, hell no. What did I get myself into? Hell no. Man, like, power up the projector, cut. PowerPoint look, presentations this and everything. This the projector, cut. I'm about to come on, cut. I'm about to connect, cut. Actually, I'm. Bro. I'm. I'm, I'm, I'm going to feel very disappointed if it's not actually like that. You know? Yeah, I ain't gonna lie too. I'm gonna be disappointed too. I'm gonna be like, damn, bro, this is not what I expected. No, this is lame. I like, kind of wish get... I was in a, a, a board meeting room with a bunch of people wearing blue saying "cuz." <laughs> <laughs> they get up to walk to the podium and they just see walk the whole way to the podium. <laughs> <laughs> I like to thank everybody, my cuz. I'm like, bro, what? <laughs> Damn, your dogs are going at it back there. They are. Yeah, shout out, shout out them doggos in the back. They don't ever let me have shit just by myself. They're like, wait, we gotta get in. <laughs> like, oh, you thought this was your podcast? Nah, cause it's my podcast. Yeah. What would you do if the dogs the just like? Now. Yeah, I'm about to say that. What, is, what would you do if the <laughs> dog just jumped up and he's like, "What's up, kid?" I'm like, oh what no. Up, Put a, she puts her blue bandana on. What up, kid? <laughs> We only we only drinking cranberries over here, cut. Oh, <laughs> uh, bro, what? Have like, you ever about... heard of a? Have you ever heard of a, a comedian called? Um, fuck, I can't remember his name. Cut. No. <laughs> Ali Sadiq. Ali Sadiq. Um. The name was Sadiq. What? Ali Sadiq. Ali Sadiq. He does this bit about living in a white neighborhood and going and sitting down with this old white guy and eating trail mix. And he was like, fucking white people love trail mix. So later on, he invites one of his friends from the, from the, like his old hood to go to the park and sit down and eat trail mix. And he's like, the fuck is this? Like, it's trail mix, man. You'll like it. And he's like, what the fuck are these red things? He's like, those are craisins. He's like, I fuck with these craisins. <laughs> 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 oh snap! I know who you talk about. I don't think I've seen that skit, but yo, that it's, that's hilarious. It's on one of his CDs. Fuck with so these crazy. Seen the audio, but it's too. F- so every time I eat Tromix now, I'm like, man, I fuck with these crazy. Oh, it's crazy, man. These crazy, they cracking. Oh, I feel like I yeah. should be doing that, but it also reminds me of this coworker that just goes around and starts grabbing f- food and shit. Like just... prison style, like he just come and no, no, your... no. <laughs> no, he don't just come in and be like, give me your fucking <laughs> Mike and Nikes. No, he just be like, damn man, what you eating? Let me get some of that. And then even in the process of let me get some of that, he's already like grabbing some of it, kind of shit, you know. <laughs> but um, oh hell, nah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, it's something like that. Something I gotta deal with. This is the same guy that went to McDonald's in the middle of doing something. But um, we were same guy. <laughs> yeah, so uh, we were um. I take my Switch to work every day, and that's when I, like, play games on our break and shit like that. So we're playing, like, Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3, or right now we're playing uh, Mother Russia Bleeds, which, by the way, is a fucking fantastic beat 'em up game that you guys should check out. Um, Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> so we're playing. <laughs> LP has a chair, and this guy... LP has a chair, and some other guy has a chair, and this, he comes in, and he just goes like, uh, Yo, LP, let me get this chair. And we're like, no, he's using it. And they asked me, hey, Will, look at that chair. You ain't doing shit. And I told him, like, he is. He's sitting on it. And then he's like, man. And then he walked away. And I'm like, the fuck was that about? Like, dude. It's stupid. We used to do the thing that back in elementary school, we used to, like, take food off each other's plates. and But you have to do it and make dead eye contact. And so, like, just slowly just creep over so they know it's coming and just grab the tater tot and then just eat it right. Oh just And never God. break eye contact. Oh it's something God. about, like, looking into their soul and going, I'm going to eat your fucking food. Wow. Jeez. Fucking tater tot. Jesus. Jesus. Yeah. Lord, I need help. If he just did that with the chair, he'd have had the chair. But no, yeah. he, he wimped out. Hey, yo, man, let me get this chair, bro. Let me get this off, you could. <laughs> I I stopped being friends with a classmate in freshman year because I sat in his chair. Oh my god! And it wasn't his chair, you know. It was just a chair, 
and he got up and I sat there to chill with the same friend we had, same classmate, and then he come back and was like, hey, dude, man, get off my chair. And I thought, we were really cool, so I thought he was fucking around, you know? It's like, no, man. He's like, get, get off my chair, dude. It's like, no, fuck that. And then it got serious, or he touched me, or I touched him. I don't know what. And then he oh, got real serious, and then oh. he just stopped talking to me like for like the remainder of the year. And I'm like, damn, dude, over wow. a chair? Over a chair? It's cool though, man. That guy just joined like some Mexican gang in school, and then I haven't seen him as, ever since. And who knows what happened to him? But oh my god, <laughs> he's walking around saying cuts, stealing everybody's chair. The whole time, right? <laughs> oh, I know. No, no, it was the other way around. I was sitting there, and then he sat there, and then I told him get out of my chair, dude. And he's like, no. And then I bullshitted with him, and I touched his hair, and then he got mad because I touched his hair. Why would you touch wow. his hair? Because I was just fucking with him. I was like, man, come on, get out. Did you like slowly caress his hair and no. say he was pretty? <laughs> I should have because maybe that's why because he cared about it so much. It was all greased up and shit. Ew. He got up and he just like, looked at me and shit. Looking, hey, nigga, you see me looking at you. you got a nice <laughs> ass, nigga. It's stupid, it's stupid shit, man. Stupid shit. Stand up, let me see that ass. Let me see that ass real quick. He felt violated, that's I guess. That's crazy. That's a great kind of topic line to get into is... What's the worst kind of scenario that you've lost a, a friendship over? Ooh, shit. Um, do <sighs> you want to take the take the wheel real quick? Mm, I'm trying to. I'm trying to think. I mean, I I have one little one, and you can't see it right here. I have a little scar, right mm. under my lip. This girl named Jennifer did not like to be called Jenny. Right, but it's one of those things that people so do all the time. It's like, you know, shorthand. Mm. Jennifer, Jenny, it's easier. <laughs> so she would let me borrow the CD. I think it was like a Bone Thugs and C- Bone Thugs and Harmony CD or something. So I had given it to her back, and then as she was leaving, I was like, "Bye, Jenny," and she threw it at my face. What the fuck? A bit psycho. <laughs> And it could happen over my mouth. Whoa. It's not that fucking serious. Like, whoa. I, okay, I guess I have one. Because all my friends now, we never stop being friends or anything like that, you know? Like, friends have arguments and whatnot, but you still, like, right. me, like me and Sony, we argue like crazy. Back in high school, especially, you know, there was even a time where I was like, "Man, fuck you, fuck you," and then it was like, "See you later tomorrow." Like, yeah, you know. Yeah. So, <laughs> but um, in grammar like school, the, in grammar like school, yeah. Brothers and that um, what's that Ryan Williams movie where he goes back home? The best friend movie. I don't yeah, remember. Yeah, that one. Just friends? No. Just friends. Yeah, him and his brother were like that. <laughs> In grammar school, there was this really cool kid, um, and his name was, I think, Robert or something like that. And we're cool, we're cool. And like I said, it's like you gotta, like you gotta earn to be part of my circle, or even to come to my place, you know. So I didn't let anybody just come to my place. It's like my closest friends that I really trust, and blah blah. blah. So I just got Mortal Kombat three, and I was like, come on over, dude. Like he was cool. He was that cool to me, right? That's the best one, by the way. Yes. So he comes over and we're playing and shit like that. And I think I even got like a lot of my mannerisms from him. I don't even remember what they are now or even if I still had them. But like he made an impact in my life. He was really cool. He was funny. Um, I was like, all right, man, I got to go use the bathroom real quick. I go use the bathroom. I come back and he's like, all right, man, I got to go. And I was like, all right, cool. Peace. He leaves and I don't find my Mortal Kombat 3. <gasps> I'm like, oh, where's oh my, God. my game? So the next day I go to him, I was like, dude, where's my Mortal Kombat 3? He's like, what are you talking about? It's like, you took my fucking game. It's like, no, I didn't. It's like, yes, you did. Like, no, I didn't. And then that's it. I stopped being his friend, dude. He literally, wow. like, there's there's all the proof there. It was there, and then it wasn't when he left. It's just it. So that's when I stopped being a friend. We used to know this guy like that. His name is Roy. And... uh he did the same thing, but he did it with um, my CDs. And I was borrowing this shirt from a friend of mine, and he took that too. So he took the shirt and then a handful of my CDs. And then when I confronted him at school the next day about school about it, he was like, oh, no, 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 I was just borrowing those. I thought I told you. You know goddamn well you didn't fucking tell me. Mm-hmm. So I got the I got the CDs back, but we didn't get the shirt back. So we didn't see him for a while. So I was hanging around. 
another friend of mine that's short tempered and we saw him walking towards us wearing the shirt. Wow. So we were like, let's let's like not beyond getting the shirt back, let's just fuck him up. So Jeez. we went and we got the shirt back. And I never <laughs> <talked to him laughs> again. Yeah, you beat his ass with a shirt. Actually, we ripped it off of him, and so okay. the friends whose shirt it originally was, we said, we got your shirt back, but it's, like, in pieces, because we fucked him up. I don't know if you want it back. He says, no, it wasn't that. It was the principle that he had it. I'm just glad he doesn't have it anymore. Thanks for getting it back. Damn. Phantom over here is saying that he had a friend of a friend who was trying to be nice, do borrow Silent Hill, and then sold it at GameStop. <laughs> That's shit. That's that sounds like a that sound like a cousin of mine, but I'm not gonna really get into that. Mm. Uh, I got a story though. I definitely have a story. Um, Go ahead. So I had someone. This is I'm not gonna make this long, but I'm, I'm gonna try to make this short. I had a friend who I've known since middle school. You know his mom, his stepdad, his his uh, sister, his his uh, fucking brothers, nieces, nephews, all that. Been around for quite some time. Slept over his house, kicked it with him, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so we've had a fallen out three times. The first time we had a fallen out was because we were all fighting. We thought we were like hard. We wanted to be part of it. We made fake gangs back in the day and shit like that. Um, and the first night, the first time was we were fighting a bunch of Hispanic guys and it got crazy. It got really crazy. And I was like, I can't keep fucking doing this shit. Like, what's the point? What am I fighting all these dudes for? For what? Like, what? what why do we need to keep getting into altercations with all these different people just because we go hard? Like, come on, bro. Right. We live in the suburbs, bro. Stop, stop the <laughs> bullshit. Um, but I literally was like, I can't do this no more. And they were talking about, like, how they were trying to call me pussy and shit like that. I'm like, nah, bro. I'm smart. Majority of those guys are either in jail, they have passed, Mm -hmm. or they're not doing shit with their life. Some of them are doing a lot better, though, I will say. Mm -hmm. But, okay, you know, it took me to go to him to say, let's squash it. The second time, he got upset. And mind you, this guy's been over my house. Like, we, we used to go, in my basement used to be the studio. So he used to come to my house every single day after school to record music. Mm -hmm. Like, we've been through thick and thin. And he got upset because I couldn't shoot a video for him. I was like, wait, what? He said he got mad because I got a camera. Mind you, I didn't even shoot a video for my fucking self. So, like, what do I look like shooting a video for somebody else if I haven't taken care of myself? And it took for me to go to him. Again, we squashed it. The third time was recently. I used to go to the studio all the time, putting money in his pocket. I'm talking about studio session starting at 10 o'clock. We're not leaving until, like, 7 a.m. Like, I'm going to there every time. I even made vegan tacos for this son of a bitch. Like, wow. bro. So, we literally, I'm going to the studio all the time. And we dropped a song. We played, paid some promotion to some companies. And I was like, yo, let's go to New York. And he was like, uh, I feel like you're always taking shots at the DMV. For people that don't know what the DMV, it's D.C., Maryland, and Virginia. I live in North Virginia. So he's like, I feel like you're taking shots at the DMV. I'm like, what are you, their fucking ambassador or some shit? Like, what, what, you're getting upset because I'm saying there's no opportunities here? It's like, yeah. So, like, literally all the promotion that he did, he took it all off his, his Instagram, took everything down off Twitter while we pay for this shit. So now we're getting refunds back for the, for all that work that we put in. Right. And I'm just like. Dude, you're a fucking child, bro. You are a fucking child. I finally had to say something. He even, at a weird time, we went to a party in D.C. My ex at the time, he said she's coming to the party. I'm like, why? He's like, because she just is. I'm like, okay. So my ex shows up. I go in the front, and they're hugging on each other. I'm like, wow, bro. Like, you didn't even, like... My thing is that if you break up with somebody... A lot of people had courtesies to be like, do you still have feelings for this person? If you do, you let it go. Right. And even then, you shouldn't even be trying to holler at somebody's ex. So I didn't even know. That's he one of those things you're supposed to ask. Like, you know, I know you guys are split up now, but do you mind if I, you know, yeah, exactly. you know whatever. It's courtesy. Um, 
But yeah, the the last time it was literally like I had a bunch of music that I recorded. And if anybody knows as of recently, these last, I think, year, I went into depression because I was trying to make music and I had no place to fucking record the music at with such an opportunity like that. And not, not just that, that I, just I just got, got tired because it was like, like this, this person was supposed, supposed to be my fucking brother. brother. And, and it's, it's just, just like, like you, you put, put so, so much energy into people, people that, that you think are friends and you have a falling out with them because they need to go fuck up. Like, I, I didn't mean, even make, make that, that story, story so long, but it was just that topic was perfect because everybody that knows me knows that I've talked about this so much and how much this shit bothered me. So it's like you have to make sure that you have the right friends, man, no matter even if they've been there for a long time and a lot of people. Man. Please, guys. There's something I noticed, too, about people like that is that you want the friendship to last, la- not just last, but you want them, you know, it's almost like you care more about the friendship than you do about the person. Like you, exactly. you know, like people that are in love with love, they don't love the person. They love the idea of being in a relationship. Mm-hmm. So people will ignore a lot of behavior until it becomes about them. So like, for example, I was friends with somebody for about, about 13 years and I watched all these little things that he used to do to other people and he ostracized them and mm-hmm. for little to nothing. And it was always their fault, and he was always the victim, and blah blah blah. And so I was just okay. That's just him. I'm I'm immune because we're good friends. We've been good friends for so long that could never happen to me. And then it was my turn. And then it was like, oh, so he just does this to everybody. Everyone, yep. So you're not safe from that kind of behavior or mentality or those kind of people. They're gonna do it to you too. Just wait. So if you notice that kind of behavior and you're seeing it happen to everybody around them, just get the fuck out before shit happens. Facts. So just plain draw over here said he I ended a friendship with this girl I once had a crush on years ago and I haven't regretted it since. She was a racist who I think forgot I was Mexican. She also wanted me to set up a whole photo shoot for her in the suburbs. Wow. So she was a hey, racist. Fuck that huh? bitch, bro. Fuck that bitch, bro. What is ra- like, racism? Is like the stupidest thing in the world. Like you're literally mad because somebody's skin pigment is different than yours. Like it makes no fucking sense. It, I like, don't understand it. It, it hurts sense. my brain. Like you hear no people sense. talk, and I'm like, I understand. Like people get it from like hope they may have gotten it from their parents and from their parents and so on. But still, like. You're really that stupid? You don't understand what melanin is? Uh, That's all it is. Oh, I hate you because you're dark. What? It's like, I don't even have... It's it's not racism. It's more like... Just hate stupid people. Hate stupid and ignorant people. Yeah. Yeah. And... And that's in every race, you know? There's... Every race has stupid and fucking ignorant people, so... Yep. That's what I hate. You know? Like, I don't... I don't even see race. It's you know, people have different nationalities. Exactly. And and um, cultures. I think we should try to unify as the human race, and just everybody should chill the fuck out. Exactly. So if I see you, I'm not gonna judge that by the way you because there's people who look a specific way, but they're actually cool as fuck. You know. Yeah. So until I know you, then I'll make my judgment. And then I work, it's like these people is like, all right, cool, whatever. I meet them, it's like, all right, you cool. But then I work with them, and then I see how they really are. It's like, you're a fucking dumbass. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> and there's some people, it's like, I made a, I make a judgment, and then I get uh, I get to know them. It's like, you, you're cool as fuck. You could be in the machine room. You know what I'm saying? It's just, Rich. That's, that's, that's what I hate. And, it, and it's even to my own people. Like, there's Puerto Ricans I fucking don't like. Mm-hmm. Because they just set a bad example for my own fucking race you know and and what i hate is that even in other people's races how you got people just still like giving y'all bad fucking rep you know what i'm saying yeah and that's time i hear somebody irish drop the n-word i'm just like i'm gonna go over here for a while (laughs) oh wow it's just it's just everything like for for white people black people or latinos everything is just we all have a bunch of fucking idiots making us all look bad we're all trying to just be fucking in the machine room all hanging out 
And that's all it is. It's 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 a mass of ignorance. That's you know, again the whole pigment melanin. You know, even religion and culture and societies, that are all different. They're they're ignorant to all of those things, and instead of just taking the person as they are, you mm-hmm. know, they have to. Oh, well, you're this and I'm this, or I'm this and you're that. It's like who fucking cares? Do you get along? Let's chill out and have an orange Fanta or something. Like. <laughs> 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 uh, what's this? D player says Conor McGregor punched an old man. He did. See, that's my why. people be, being doing stupid shit. <laughs> I watch a thing called the Tri Channel where it's like Irish people try things. I love that shit. Yes. I'm sorry. It's so random, but I love it. I love, I love it. those guys. I do too. I do too. They got me on the same gobshite. Gobshite? Gobshite. Gobshite. He used to call okay. everybody a mook in this guy at work. He goes, you can't say that because that's an Italian word. And I'm like, so I have to call everybody a gobshite instead of a mook? Gobshite. I love gobshite. it. Gobshite. I say we use everybody's words. Mook is funny. Mook is funny. And it's mook. so What's like. Mook? What's that? To the point, It's like a really stupid part. Like, du- like if somebody did something really stupid, like, oh, you heard about your friend that got caught trying to rob a. At Seven Eleven, mm-hmm. you know, like it's like that fucking mook. <laughs> here's 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 a word for everybody to use as a Spanish word. Call people a sangano. That's a like sangano? yeah, that's like an idiot or a dumbass or something like that. You you're you're a sangano. Sangano. Okay. There you go. There you go. Sangano. It's like fun it. word to say. Sangano. <laughs> sangano. <laughs> Being cheated, sangano. There you go. No mama's way. <laughs> that is, uh, I believe it's a Puerto Rican word. I don't know. I get surprised, man. There's some words that we say that my girl's like, "The fuck is that?" And I'm like, "It's it means this." And she's like, "No, it doesn't. It means oh, this." And that. I'm like, "All right, well, <laughs> two worlds here, <laughs> shit." Um, I hear a lot of that with Cuban words. I used to work with this Cuban guy, and then he would say something thinking it was Spanish because I know you know a little bit of Spanish. And I'm like. That's not a Spanish. He's like, no. I'm like, no, dude. You gotta try again. <laughs> Meet me on my level somewhere. English or Spanish. Let's go. <laughs> Cubans. He was great though. I had a whole other thing about that, and I totally fucking lost for what were we talking about? I don't know, man. But Stupid I want people. to. I want to focus <laughs> on. Ah, oh, man. For most. You have to. She she gets lost in there. We lost them. <laughs> it's cool. It's cool. I think that back on the friendship thing, that the whole thing about um, people just think other people are disposable nowadays, and it's really hard to try to keep and men uh, maintain good relationships like that because it's so easier nowadays for people to just quit and give up opposed to saying like you know what we had a quarrel let's talk this out mm. or or whatever like I've, I've had people ghost me for literally no reason and then you hit them up years later like what happened and they're just like I just got busy like that's a really shitty excuse like people get busy in their life but you still talk to them yeah you know? yeah or they say there was a lot of shit going on in my life. Yes. Like, okay, but I have, everybody has a lot of shit going on in their life. But <laughs> yeah, you're not special. And you could have talked to me about, you could have come to me. And like, I had a friend, uh, I was friends for a long time. And it was always something like that. And then it finally became like, you know what? You're going to do this no matter what. And you're mm. going to find an excuse or a reason to rationalize it in your mind. And I'm not going to put up with it anymore because no matter what, like, people just suck. Like, some people just suck and they don't know how to maintain or or keep friendships like that. And a friendship is a lot of hard work. But if you find the right people, then you're willing to make that sacrifice and those those kind of things for the right people. But so many people nowadays aren't aren't willing to do it in return. Amen. 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 I have friends I haven't talked to, um, but because we're doing our own stuff, like Sony, I hardly talk to that guy. But oh, really, I, you know, 
we make the time sometimes to try to talk. Um, he's busy. I'm busy. We're doing our own things. Um, I have another friend from high school I barely see, and he hits me up sometimes. But he, this is another story because when you talk to him, he doesn't really reply much or back or anything like that. So it is what it is. It's, it's just, it's not that you just grow apart, but you're still friends, you know? kind of stuff Mm -hmm. you know you're just doing your own thing but you're still friends i have my closest which is like basically like lp and scooby i hear from randy whenever he hits me up (laughs) so and then my girlfriend who's my like bestest friend right now so it is what it is there's like friendships you have that are you know, long friendships like that and you could not talk to that person for like a year and then you talk to him the next day like nothing happened yep and that's totally different that's a different kind of really loyal friendship but sorry my dogs are crazy but <laughs> your life do, you know things do get in a way and, and it's not that you drift apart it's just that time passes sometimes but you still are good friends no matter what that's different than somebody just up and never talking to you ever again and you trying to talk to them you text them you call them you leave voicemails you hit them up on facebook or whatever and they they just stop and for no reason it put in it's really frustrating for people to do that and it takes a lot more work to do that i think than to just say you know what i don't want to be friends anymore because i would rather respect somebody for giving their honest opinion than just disappearing like that exactly my issue is the whole like you keep trying to talk to people who are always down and you try to lift them up and they stay down and then you feel like well you can't do much or you can't do anything and then you just leave them alone and then hope that next time it will you know have some kind of impact but you always want to be there for someone and then they, you know, it's difficult. It's, it's a difficult task. Yeah, it is. I agree. I definitely agree. I think, you know, I like I don't really like as, as lately. I don't have that many friends as, as much as I used to. Like I used to have like a whole rack of friends. But now in recent years, I, I don't I have a very I don't even have a circle anymore. And sometimes I think like, is it something I'm doing wrong? But it's not. It's just that people grow apart at times, you know? Like, I only have a few friends. And like I said, I actually, I fuck with people online harder than I fuck with a lot of the people in real life. Because, you know, some people just either, they either change or, like, life gets the best of them. Or, you know, they're just living their life. And they just don't really, they really don't have time. So, or they don't make time. A lot of people say that, you know, if, because you hear a lot of people say they don't have time. Man, if you really care for somebody, you'll make that damn time. Yeah. You would make that time, honestly. I agree, I agree with that a, a lot. I, I know some people that do that all the time. Well, we need to do this and that. I just need to make some time. If you really wanted to, we would have done it by now. Mm-hmm. Yep. And that's what it bottles down to. If you really, really wanted to, it wouldn't get in the way. Yeah. Exactly. I agree. I agree. I, I I try to like when I did the VR party that was like a big deal because it was finally like a time to try to get everybody together you know mm-hmm. and for the most part I did like minus maybe two people and whatnot and it was it was good it was it was fun um, these are people I haven't seen in a while like Josie or 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 Sue and there's other people that I try to catch up with but truth is that you know we've went our our own separate ways you know they got their life and they got like they're like acquaintances now more yeah. than just friends you know that it's like hey how you doing or whatever and shit like that but i try to stay as close as i can with those that i use but it's not like back in the day when we all hanged out and stayed hanging out till the sun comes up you know mm-hmm. we all doing our own thing i barely i talk to carol as much as i can barely hang out with her but we still keep in contact, you know. We're still living our own lives and whatnot. Yeah. As long as the contact is there and you like keep looking out for you're, each other and stuff like that. As long you're, as you're trying, yeah. If you're trying, that means that you care and you want that person to be in your life. If you're not trying, then just fuck off somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. 
Um, yeah. And what and that's the funniest thing about having all of the social networking is that I've lost more friends and family because of a Facebook post, like just plain Joe talking about like <laughs> than than anything. Like just speaking your mind, people go, "Well, I'm just never gonna talk to you again." And like because I said like how I feel, or you know, you finally spoke up about something, or just anything. Like people find the smallest reasons to just fucking disappear D player's right being a dog an adult s- does suck being a dog being a dog <laughs> suck no a dog seems like it's great your dog over there licking his her own God. fucking but JJ and shit she's all about her JJ <laughs> um yeah I'm um damn I was gonna say something I totally fucking forgot I'm sorry like uh oh, yeah I'm at, I'm at my friend's house and they're about to wind down soon so I don't want to leave but I gotta go in a little bit guys I'm so that's, sorry that's, that's no fine, worries man yeah. There's, you 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 came into the machine room and we had a great time it's almost time for us to depart yeah to part anyway so I mean it's the end oh yeah fuck it, yeah yeah then, great and i love everybody was in here i love everybody being a part of the show we had great conversations rex mm-hmm. i knew having you on here was going to be good because Thank having you. a conversation with you is always is always good you you you, you can have a conversation with people Thank for you, real man. i appreciate it i really appreciate it i tell people like i can really talk to anybody man i really can like sometimes i'm shy but for the most part like if it's just as long as the conversation is engaged and i'm there for it mm-hmm. i totally remember what i was going to say before <laughs> We were talking about, um, like, people having misconceptions about people. People always look at me because I have what's called resting bitch face. Oh, yeah. Out out in the normal world. And so Mm -hmm. people immediately assume that I'm just some, like, selfish asshole. Like, I don't want to talk to anybody. And I'm like, no, I'm just, just, my face just looks like that. Just chilling, man. Yeah. She really (laughs) wants me. Dro says, Rex, that, um... They're breaking down now. End of end that friendship. No one sleeps in the machine room. There you go. <laughs> Damn, man. Look, I'm gonna let you know this. Get you some sleep, bro. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you again for coming through. You're welcome anytime. Oh, I would love to come as many times as I can. But Actually, this was fun. I was gonna, I was gonna have this. Uh, I was gonna offer up the 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 position. Um, cause Rachel next Sunday I'll be too busy, so okay. Rex could be my replacement if he wishes. I could do that. Yeah, I mean, I I do host. have uh, I have therapy Sundays, uh, that start usually at like four or five on Sundays, but then I usually do that for only like two hours. We started off so late today. We were supposed to start off a lot early. So that's why I came. I literally was on a podcast and right came on. to another podcast. So yeah, guys, you know, I'm trying to work, man. I'm really in. I'm trying to work. <laughs> grinding, man. grinding, grinding hard. I'm trying, bro. I'm trying. Yeah, I'm doing the streets, cuz. Yeah, I'm in the streets, cuz. <laughs> I'm here, cuz. What's up, cuz? That's good stuff. <laughs> yeah, man. That's good stuff. No, I see you all the time, man. I get notifications of just like um, Rex is streaming, and I'm like, must be nice because I'm stuck at work and I can't be yep. streaming myself. But I know the feeling. I know the feeling, bro. I know the feeling. You know, I want to do it more often, but I'm always busy. But you made yeah. affiliate, so that's all that matters. I, I so. try. I try my best. There you go. Mm-hmm. Bam. Clap cheeks. <laughs> Little pit. <laughs> Imagine if that's the world. You don't clap with your hands. You clap with your cheeks. Clap with your cheeks. Oh nah! I seen a video <laughs> like that where a guy was like, he said, ah, ha, ha, laughing like this, and he was like, why aren't you clapping your hands? What's going on here? What's why aren't you clapping your hands? And he just kept <laughs> laughing, just doing like this, and kept hearing the clapping sound. I'm like, oh nah, man. Oh nah. There you go. I gotta man. see all that video. I'm definitely oh seeing God. all that video. <laughs> you think of something that's already been made. Fantastic. Yeah, exactly. That's why I don't do right. shit anymore. That's why I don't do shit. <laughs> <laughs> I just keep shit to myself. Exactly. Oh, oh man. What are you talking about? We didn't do shit. We did the Machine Room podcast. We're doing it right now. Yes. I yeah, I had fun, guys. Thank you for inviting me once again. I, I will be here next Sunday. Yeah, awesome. I'll be here next Sunday. We'll see you then. All right. I'm early this time. <laughs> Yeah. I will. I will. I will definitely be here a lot earlier. I just want to say shout out to everybody that came in, came here, 
And uh, thank you once again for the opportunity. I'm signing off. Nas, Rachel, you guys are amazing. Keep it g- fucking going, man. I'm here thank for you. it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Peace, Peace out, Peace out, Rex. Deuces. All right. That's it for Rex McKinnis. Oh, shit. No. Stop it. Stop it. Ooh, damn. Okay, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit! But yeah, I mean, it was it was great having Rex on here. Fantastic. Yeah. You started playing the intro again, didn't you? Yeah, it it it, <laughs> it played the intro. I went I went to us, and then it started playing the intro. But it's all good. <laughs> that was I say was a fantastic show. Um, thank you guys for being here with us. What what where we at on the time here? Oh, we haven't even hit two minutes yet. We still got like ten minutes left. Yeah. Shit. I thought we passed the two-hour mark. Nah, we have ten more minutes. Oh, shit. Well, shit. We got some time here, ladies and gentlemen. Sit back and relax. Be part of the conversation. Overtime, Uh, morning, wood with Naz. I wish. I wish I could bring those back. I could, technically, but... You could. But so-and-so ruined it. Ooh, nah. (laughs) I could Uh, do it. I could do it video-wise now. That's true. That's true. I'm, gonna do it. I'm wearing my um, Gamera shirt in anticipation for Godzilla coming out Tuesday. Is this Tuesday? Shit. I think so. Do I have money to get? If it's, it's already on digital, but I've already seen some of the, like the 4K box sets and stuff, and they look fucking amazing. Oh my God! Does Best Buy have a dope ass steel book though? Ooh, that's a good question. That's what I need to know. Just plain Joe ask, what's everybody playing right now? Um, I'm playing Ion Ion Fury. Oh shit. Um, which is from 3D Realms. It's the game that was made with the engine from three uh Duke Nukem 3D. Um, so I'll probably be streaming more of that later today. There you go. So if you wanna see her playing this game, you know where to go, right there. It's on her it's on her border right there. Hammer yes. Venus. Follow her. What the hell are y'all doing? Shit. Fucking up. So Shit. Um, I'm going to play that game when it hits the Switch, which will be like later this year, I believe they said. Um, I, I think in the like um, the fall, like when all the before the Black Friday shit comes out. Sweet. So for sure. Uh, I am currently playing. I'm streaming Shenmue 2. All right, I'm trying to get that out of the way before three. I am playing Mother Russia Bleeds, but only at work because one day I plan on getting the guys here and do a switch of us playing Mother Russia Bleeds and especially Marvel Ultimate Alliance three. Nice. Because that's a whole group thing, and I want you know everybody in there. Uh, I play World War Z with Rachel. Yes. So we do that. Borderlands pre the Borderlands handsome collection with LP because I want to try to get through those before three I don't know how that's looking. I'm playing a lot of games. Okay, but my main focus right now is Shenmue 2 to try to get through that That's You're juggling a lot of plates right now. I, I am I am and it's like but you know what it's good because there was like A couple years ago. I couldn't do this like for real. Yeah. I didn't have the time or was given the time to do this kind of shit so now I got it, and I'm doing it like crazy. And the setup here, with all the systems, fucking beautiful. Sexy. It's very sexy. It's a lot of things I want to play. But definitely follow um, follow Rachel and see her playing Ion Fury, which I do. also want to see how it looks. It's so fun. I was playing last night for like an hour, and it was just like a little kid in a candy store. I was just murdering and shooting and just so happy. <laughs> As it should be. Um, I got another game yesterday that just came out yesterday, <laughs> and or it came out Friday. What's today? Sunday. Sunday. Yeah, <laughs> so it came out. It came out Friday. Um, and it is called. Have it here. It's called Pixel Shinobi. Let me pull it up. Uh, Nine Demons of Mamoru. It's on Steam. It looks like a classic kind of like a Sega Genesis kind of platform game, but it's a ninja, so we get to run around and beat him up with ninja stuff. That's what I'm talking so about. I'll be streaming that to you. 
Oh shit. See, this is what I like. Because most games that are on Steam, they end up on the Switch. So I definitely want to know about this. Yes. I played it for a little bit just to see how the gameplay was. And it was really fun. Mm. Uh, I'm trying to see if there's anything about... No, no word of it. But yeah. I want to definitely check. I love pixel games, and that's what that Mother Russia mm-hmm. bleed is like. It's all pixel, beat em up kind of shit. It's just crazy, intense fighting. And it's hilarious. It's hilarious. I it's, love it. It's funny, especially. What is that on? What do you play that on? I'm playing it on the Switch, but I'm pretty sure there's okay. probably a Steam of it as well. Because every game is on Steam. Let's face it. Of course. Like it starts off there first, and then. It'll what is it called there. again? Mother Russia bleeds. Yeah, there it is right there, fourteen ninety nine. Bam, there it is, yep. Boom. Oh, that it does look fun. Mm-hmm. That's like save it. Streets of Rage with... What was... What was Gangs. Like... With things, yeah. It was, it's just a mix <laughs> of a lot of shit, and it's just fantastic. I love it. It's good stuff out there, people. What else is coming out? Like soon. Well, besides Doom, September is when stuff starts kicking off. And there's freaking Gears, Borderlands. Uh, oh, this month though is a game that I've been. Look, I love Remedy, right? Uh-huh. Remedy, yes, Remedy, the ones who created Max Payne and Alan Wake and shit. Yes. And uh, Quantum Break, I love them. To me, they make like one of my favorite games of all time. So all those I just named, and they have a new game called Control, and mm-hmm. there's not a lot of hype over it. You know, usually how their stuff goes, but for people that are fans, there's hype for it. And I that is like my game of the summer that I'm really hyped for is Control, and it actually comes out like in two weeks or something, and I can't wait to play it or next week. And it's about I really don't know the story, but some chick is in some organiz some company, and shit goes crazy, and she's able to control time i think or something i don't know it's like some weird gun and some weird effects and that's what i love about remedy is that their games and their stories is is so complex you know but it's so Mm -hmm. like well thought out and 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 put together so that's why max Payne and max Payne 2 are very well done and quantum break is very well done alan wake is fucking fantastic so I'm really excited the to flashlight play flashlight game. Yeah, I'm really excited to play Control. That's pretty much what it is, flashlight game. And you will say that, right? And you think like, oh, whatever, that's simple. But no, it's, the game is like so. Alan Wake, I believe, is the first game to do episodic, you know, mm-hmm. but within a game already. And I think maybe that is what inspired the other. Like, okay, here's the episode one of this game. Get it now, and then episode. I'm not sure. But I just say it like that because that's what I saw first. Alan Wake. Every stage was an episode. And you played it. And it ended off like an episode. Then the next would start like an episode. And it was like you were playing a series. And you're binging through it. And the same thing happened with Quantum Break. It was fucking fantastic. I watched you play and it looked really fun. Um, G Player 1 says Anthem was a real letdown for me. I don't believe any hype anymore. See, we just started playing Anthem, yeah. and it's stupid fun. Like, we I've were... had, like, the most amazing time playing that game. <laughs> we were having a blast. We were having a fucking complete blast. Especially like, when I... I... That, that clip of Scooby over there freaking playing uh, <laughs> Hammer. <laughs> the Hammer. <laughs> uh, like, I really want to know, like, what what's disappointing about it. Because, I mean, I didn't know anything coming into it, except that people were disappointed in it, and... I mean, I have yet to be disappointed in it. I don't know if it's because there's no, like, PvP in the game. And a lot of players, a lot of players like fucking going against people. Because when you talk Destiny to people, they don't talk about, like, the story. They talk about, like, oh, yeah, the fucking, the Crucible. And I'm like, I don't care about the Crucible, dog. I want, I play it for, like, the fucking stories and, and doing shit with your friends and going through this yeah. stuff. I don't care about facing other people and shit like that. Even though it's like, oh, you get to get all this stuff. It's like, I don't give a shit. 
I'm here to have a good time and play with my friends and do co-op stuff because I'm about I'm co-op. Me and Rachel are co-op players. Like yes, we're all about co-op playing. Co-ops and beat 'em ups. Yes, and, and Anthem. Shooters. Anthem is a fun, pretty fucking co-op game. I think. And beat 'em up, more like a shoot 'em up. <laughs> yeah. But you can beat up too. But yeah, I love it. We need it's to play more. Flying around and fucking shit up. How how is oh that my not God. fun? As soon as I got really good at flying around, I was just gone. I was like, okay, bye. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, there you go, D-Player. You got to play with friends. Yeah, you have to play with other people. It's not a single player, single player game. Like, no. um, World War Z. Like, you need a good crew for that. Yes. Or Red Dead Redemption or Left 4 Dead. Like, those mm-hmm. are friend games. Like, when you play with other people, it makes it so much better. Mm-hmm. I have more fun with Destiny with friends than by myself. I wouldn't play through the story by myself. It's just, eh. Because, I mean, it's fun, but it's like, you want to play with friends and have those moments. If anything, you've seen the game additions in the live stream. It's just like, it's just about funny moments and enjoying it together. Exactly. All day, every day. That's what gaming should be about. I understand there's people who are just like, hardcore competitive and that's fine and dandy but that's not my take I love to be part of a team and going through shit together that's why I can't play like Call of Duty and Battlefield and stuff anymore because there's people that literally play it for a living or they'll play like these teams that are gonna go to some world championship and win a million dollars I'm like dude I'm just here to have fun like I wanted to come in and shoot a couple people and go to bed like you made this shit way too serious right why can't we play like a fucking co-op game and make a million dollars you know yeah right why don't people pay pay to see us play co-op games like oh these people they should pay us regardless (laughs) (laughs) you paid fuck you pay me we're looking for sponsors in the machine room yes mainly pop tarts yes because we gotta pay we got to pay for we got to pay for this space, you know? Machine yeah. room ain't cheap. Machine room is not cheap. Oh, by the way, we have a website. I, mean, I don't think we told people, right? No, because I just made it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Machineroompodcast.com. Yeah. You can find every link to all the shit that we do. The video podcast, the audio podcast, we have merch now. Shameless pug like crazy. Hell yeah. Yes. All day shameless. Make that money. So um, there's six designs in our web shirt thing right now, our web store. Um, But if you guys have any ideas, let me know. Um, But yeah, there's also an address now. I think I made an email address for people that may have like questions or something if they want to send those in. Um, Like maybe topic ideas, whatever. They it should. Is, it's ask at machineroompodcast dot com. Once again, ask at machineroompodcast dot com. That's right, folks. That's right, folks. You heard it right here. Uh, ask at machineroompodcast dot com. <laughs> that's that my best. Really uh, that's my best radio voice. I was gonna yeah, say that. They definitely gotta. You definitely gotta send in questions for us to ask other guests. Cause that moment you had there with those questions, that was beautiful. I literally Google searched worst interview questions <laughs> to ask somebody, <laughs> and it came up with this list of a hundred questions, and I just bird pecked from it. And some of them are really, really like were way worse. I was like, that's so stupid or, or bad. I'm not gonna ask. It. I was like. What do you think about affirmative action? I'm like, I'm not trying to get beat up. (laughs) (laughs) We want people to listen and not beat me up. Yeah. Those were funny. It was really funny. It was like a lightning round kind of thing, like real quick. Like, yeah. First thing you think about, go. Go. I liked it. I think we should keep that going. For sure. Yeah. We can have little. Things like that, because we definitely want to break up, like, the kind of monotony of people listening to shows like this. I think they come to expect certain things, especially if you have guests on it. Mm -hmm. You just think that there's just going to be this weird back and forth where I ask something, they talk for 30 minutes, I ask something, they (laughs) you know, it's like, make it fun, make it this back and forth like a tennis match, you know, let's 
let's try to enjoy it and then keep it where people want to watch or listen. And that's what I hope these people right here would keep keep want to watch and listen. Dro, Danny, D player. That's all I see right now. I know there's Everybody. other players. Phantom. Phantom. Uh, mm -hmm. Those are the only people interacting. What's going on here? Uh, people are hiding. Oh, 16 bit. Those are the only people interacting so far. But thank you guys and the viewers watching. And if you're listening to us on iTunes, Google Play, or Spotify, God damn, I love we're on Spotify. Spotify, baby. <laughs> thank you for listening to us. It is a pleasure. Tell your friends. And we'll see you next week with me and Rex McKinnis. That's at right. At our normal bat time. <laughs> same machine room channel. Same machine room time. You're not being ignored, Danny. We love you. Yeah, man. Danny, I, Danny, I never hardly see you. And the only time I hear from you is from other friends. So... You know, used to be everywhere, dog. Used to be tiny Perfect. chatter all the time. Yeah, we were talking about that the other day. Mm-hmm. Little good times, and we're trying to bring it back. Right here, in right the here. machine room. Every Sunday. Every Sunday. Every Sunday. <laughs> cool guys. Well, thank you again for coming through, and we will see you next Sunday. 9 p.m. Send us those questions. Ask at the mach or ask at machineroompodcast.com and hope everybody has a great week. That's right. Follow Hammer of Venus on Twitch and see her play Ion Fury. Yes. Woo! Playing that tonight. Yeah. Follow me on Twitter, Nastradamus. How do you spell that? <sighs> with the X. <laughs> yes, with Not the X. S. With the X at the end. N A Z T R A D A M I X. And follow the real machine room on Twitter as well. Amen. Yeah. So, anyways, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. You can now leave the machine room. Your uh, parking has been validated. <laughs> <laughs> Peace out. I hope this I hope this plays well. <laughs>